what I'm thinking about is what might happen if Derek loses to Harding, which is a very good possibility. If you, you are watching Muscle Central, make sure you like, share, subscribe, turn on your notifications, and leave a comment. Okay, we got a not so typical situation in the open division. Number one and two in the Olympia the last two years are both trained by the same prep coach. Uh, Derek Glunsford, Hadi Chupan are both prepped by Hani Rambach. Uh, two years ago, uh, Hadi unseats Big Rami. Last year, Derek unseats Hadi. Both work with Hadi. Both are sponsored by Evogen. Now, let me start off with this. I'm not going to insinuate that uh, Hani has preferences. I'm going to give him the benefit of the doubt. He is approaching this as a professional, and he's uh, preparing both of them to the best of his ability. Wherever the chips may fall, they fall. But that doesn't mean that there can't be some tension uh, there. Uh, there should be. It would, it would, you would expect it. If you have the Warriors mindset, the champion's mindset, this guy's your opponent, your enemy, if you would. There's going to be some sort of tension. Uh, my, what I'm thinking about is what might happen if Derek loses to Harding, which is a very good possibility. If you poll people in the industry, you're going to find a large percentage have Hardy taking back the title this year. Uh, is this going to cause a rift with uh, Derek and Hardy, possibly? Derek, I've always felt it, that Derek's had some insecurities. And my hunch... I think it was pretty much revealed, was proved when we saw him training with Nick Walker and Samson Dowder for the Olympia TV uh, after the Olympia. They got together, I don't know where the gym was, they were working out. And when, Ter when Terek wanted the guys to take off their shirts, had a few poses, Derek was very, very reluctant. He did not want to. And only when Derek said, okay, if you're scared to, you don't have to, did he reluctantly take his shirt off. And then he wanted optimal lighting. Uh, where's the best lighting? Is it over there, here, where? There was a lot of insecurity over there. And then, once the shirts were off, it didn't take too long for Derek to get the shirt back on while Nick and uh, Samson kept their shirts off. It might seem like a little nothing to some people, but it definitely displayed insecurity. Now... Derek's also been hyped up a little bit. I think a little too much. Uh, he's, he, yes, he won the Mr. Olympia one time. He hasn't uh, won the second Olympia yet. They say you solidify your win, your first win, by uh, getting your second win. He still has to prove himself. 
uh, his first one was questionable, but people are getting in his, I think this, that's getting in his head. They're making him out, some are making him out to be the greatest thing since the invention of the wheel. He's not quite there yet. What happens when, uh, if Derek loses the Hardy? I think those insecurities are going to start to really start to surface. And he's going to start uh, questioning things. I think he's going to look, you know, when they're together, right now, Hardy's in the country already. He got there, got here about a week ago. They're training together right now. The previous Olympia, I think Hardy got in about six weeks ahead of time. They were training together during those weeks leading up to the Olympia. They're around each other. First off, there's a language barrier, but I do believe that Hardy understands a little bit more English then Derek understands Farsi. And I'm sure when they're together in a training, Hadi's, talk, Hadi's talking to Hadi and Farsi while he's talking to Derek in English. And Derek is going to be thinking back on those days and wondering now, because of his insecurities, what has been what was actually being said between the two of them. Uh, I think uh, Derek's attitude uh, approach now is more like a friendly rivalry. I think Hadi has a little more, uh, a little, a little bit more of a militant, approach to this, if you would. Yeah, he might be smiling around Derek, but there's an old expression, to you keep your uh, friends close and your enemies closer. Hadi has the, without a doubt, he has that warrior's mindset, that champion's mindset. He's looking at he might be smiling. He's looking at Derek as his enemy right now. I don't think Derek is seeing it the same way. But now, this, let's get back to what happens if uh, Hadi takes him out. Derek is going to have, those, like I said, those insecurities are going to pop up. He's going to wonder about those training sessions they had together. What was really being said between Hadi and Hadi? And then he's going to start thinking... Hey, they got that Iranian connection. Yeah, uh, Hani is, Ameri is an American citizen of Iranian descent. Uh, I'm not saying, like I said in the beginning, I'm not saying that Hani is going to be partial to either one of them. I think if Hani takes out Derek, Derek's insecurities that he, he has already displayed are going to really surface. It's going to cause a lot more tension. And I wonder whether uh, Derek will maintain his faith in Hani and how their relationship would go forward from that point on. This is merely speculation. If you agree or disagree with anything I've said, please let me know in the comments section. This is Michael Diamond. I'd like to thank you for watching Muscle Central.